Hi guys, welcome to New Tech Zone YouTube channel. To get notified, mind blogging latest technology news, visit our right in your YouTube homepage. Subscribe and click the bell button. Thank you. Hi guys, welcome to New Tech Zone YouTube channel. In this video guide, I'm going to show you how to use screen time in iOS. 12 version so this is the brand new feature in latest ios 12 so go to settings and click on screen time so this is the screen time menu so you can find so many details in here i have i have used 5 hours 23 minutes my screen time in today so this is the you can find more details here social networking 2 hours 5 minutes entertainment 1 hour 22 minutes and productivity 30 minutes so once you click here this time iphone you can get to know more details for example you can find here screen time today 7 31 pm so i am i have used 5 hours and 23 minutes my iphone today so here you can find more details in uh, graphs so you can find most used apps so instagram youtube settings something like that you can get to know how long you used each app so screen time will help to reduce the amount of time we spend on our phones so this is the brand new feature apple has introduced so this is very useful for us also if you click last seven days you can get to know more details so how long you used monday tuesday wednesday so i have i upgrade my ios 12 couple of days before so i can't find more details in here so this is the app so you can find pickups for per hour and you can find notifications so how many notifications i'm getting each day i can find all the details in here so once you tap back button you can find here there are three options downtime app limits and always allowed so what is downtime so if you click downtime it, it says set a schedule for time away from the screen during downtime only apps that you choose to allow and phone call will be available so this is very nice we can simply enable downtime so once you enable downtime it will ask your time schedule so you can select according to your time schedule so i have select 10 pm to 7 am so something like that or 10 pm to let's say uh 10 pm to 11 pm so i i i, I want to use only one hour downtime so once i enable downtime so you can find here during downtime only apps that you choose to allow and phone calls will be available so how to choose that apps simply you can select always allowed button so here you can find always allowed apps are available during downtime or if you select the all the apps and categories app limits so if you want to select any of the apps in this category simply you can tap as you want for example if i want to use app store in downtime i can press plus button and you can find here app store has come in top of the screen so if i want to instagram i can add so according to my wish i can select apps as i want to allow in downtime so this is the downtime so this is very useful and you can find here there is another option app limits so once you tap at limits you can find here set daily time limits for app categories you want to manage app limits reset every day at midnight so this will reset every day at midnight so if you if i want to use app limit i can i have to select add limits so you can find here some category all apps and categories social network games entertainment creativity so this will categorize according to the according to your installed apps automatically it will categorize so if you use if you install facebook instagram pinterest youtube something like that it will come under social network category or if you use any of the games in your in your iphone so it, it, that will come under games category so it will be automatically categorized according to your installed apps 
so for example let's say i have to use social networking and click add button so it will ask now how long i want to use for example here you can find app limits apply to all devices that are using icloud for screen time a notification will appear five minutes before the limits expires for example i want to use uh, one hour something like that so one hour so if i select one hour so if I select one hour, I can use my social media apps in one hour time. So it will show notification five minutes before the limit expires. So I can use according to that. So that's it. Also, you can edit apps here. If you want to add something more, you can simply add here. Or if you don't want this, delete limit and click delete limit that's it also you can find here there is another option content and privacy restrictions so if you click here you can find there is option content and privacy restrictions so if you enable you can find there are so many options so itunes and app store purchase so you can enable these allowed apps content restriction location service context calendars reminders photos everything bluetooth sharing microphone so you can access you can content all these privacy restrictions so this is very useful information also here you can find share across devices you can enable this on any device sign into iCloud to report your combined screen time so this is the advanced feature so if you want you can simply enable that also you can set up screen time for a family in this option you can set up family sharing to use screen time with your family's devices so let's say if you want to track details of your children's or you, your relations or parents display details you can simply set up by here so once you tap set up screen time for family it will ask their iphone user id and password once you type and once you log in then you can get all the details of them so this will help if you want to track details of screen time of your family okay guys i have enabled downtime 10 pm to 11 pm so now time is 10 12 pm so you can find here unhighlighted apps so all these apps are not allowed apps in downtime so you can find if i click mail it says time limit so if i click photos it says time limit and you can find all here so for example if i want to access downtime when i'm in downtime simply i can click ignore limit and it will ask remind me in 15 minutes or ignite limit for today if i click ignore limit for today then i can open the app so if you don't want downtime simply you can disable or turn off this in settings so go to settings and click screen time and here you can find downtime and disable this schedule or simply you can change time in here so if i don't want then i can simply disable also if i want to use screen time passcode i can enable screen time passcode by tap here and it will ask to ask to set a passcode so i'm going to type it it will ask again and i'm going to type it that's it now i have added the passcode so now if i want to change downtime it will require passcode so this will help only if you want to control your iphone by yourself so that's great and if you don't want passcode then simply you can click change screen time passcode and turn off screen passcode so it will ask passcode and you have to type it again and that's it you have disable or turn off using screen time passcode so screen time help reduce the amount of time we spend on our phones this is very useful and if you like my video please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe my youtube channel to get notified latest ios 12 tips thank you
If you like our videos, please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to stay tuned more awesome latest tech videos. Thank you.